The table of chords, created by the astronomers Geometer and Geographer Ptolemy in Egypt during the 2nd century AD, is a trigonometric table in Book 1, Chapter 11 of Ptolemy's Almagest, a treatise on mathematical astronomy. It is essentially equivalent to a table of values of the sine function. It was the earliest trigonometric table extensive enough for many practical purposes, including those of astronomy. Centuries passed before more extensive trigonometric tables were created. The chord function and the table. A chord of a circle is a line segment whose end points are on the circle. Ptolemy used a circle whose diameter is 120. He tabulated the length of a chord whose end points are separated by an arc of n degrees, for n ranging from one half to 180 by increments of one half. In modern notation, the length of the chord corresponding to an arc of theta degrees is as theta goes from 0 to 180. The chord of a theta degree arc goes from 0 to 120. For tiny arcs, the chord is to the arc angle in degrees as pi is to 3, or more precisely, the ratio can be made as close as desired to pi 3 1.047197555 by making theta small enough. Thus, for the arc of degree, the chord length is slightly more than the arc angle in degrees. As the arc increases, the ratio of the chord to the arc decreases. When the arc reaches 60 degrees, the chord length is exactly equal to the number of degrees in the arc, i.e., chord 60 degrees equals 60. For arcs of more than 60 degrees, the chord is less than the arc, until an arc of 180 degrees is reached, when the chord is only 120. The fractional parts of chord lengths were expressed in sexagesimal, i.e., base 60, numerals. For example, where the length of a chord subtended by a 112 degrees arc is reported to be 99 p 29 feet 5 inches, it has a length of rounded to the nearest one 600 second. After the columns for the arc and the chord, a third column is labeled 60th for an arc of theta degree. The entry in the 60th column is this is the average number of 60ths that must be added to chord for each 1 degree increase in theta degree. Between the entry for theta degree and that for degree, thus, it is used for linear interpolation. Glow, Wartsky and Gottscher showed that Ptolemy must have calculated chords to five sexagesimal places in order to achieve the degree of accuracy found in the 60th column. How Ptolemy Computed Chords Chapter 10 of Book 1 of the Almagest presents geometric theorems used for computing chords. Ptolemy used geometric reasoning based on Proposition 10 of Book 13 of Euclid's Elements to find the chords of 72 degrees and 36 degrees. That proposition states that if an equilateral pentagon is inscribed in a circle, then the area of the square on the side of the pentagon equals the sum of the areas of the squares on the sides of the hexagon and the decagon, inscribed in the same circle. He used Ptolemy's theorem on quadrilaterals inscribed in a circle to derive formulas for the chord of a half arc, the chord of the sum of two arcs, and the chord of a difference of two arcs. The theorem states that for a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, the product of the lengths of the diagonals equals the sum of the products of the two pairs of lengths of opposite sides. The derivations of trigonometric identities rely on a cyclic quadrilateral in which one side is a diameter of the circle. To find the chords of arcs of one degree and half a degree he used approximations based on Aristarchus' inequality. The inequality states that for arcs alpha and beta, if 0 less than beta less than alpha less than 90 degrees, then Ptolemy showed that for arcs of 1 degree and half a degree, the approximations correctly give the first two sexagesimal places after the integer part, the numeral system and the appearance of the untranslated table, lengths of arcs of the circle, in degrees, and the integer parts of chord lengths were expressed in a base 10 numeral system that used 21 of the letters of the Greek alphabet with the meanings given in the following table, and a symbol, that means one half. 
Two of the letters, labeled archaic, below, had not been in use in the Greek language for some centuries before the Almagest was written. Thus, for example, an arc of 143 and a half degrees is expressed as the fractional parts of chord lengths required great accuracy, and were given in two columns in the table, the first giving an integer, multiple of 1 60th, in the range 0 to 59, the second an integer, multiple of 1 602nd equals 1 3600, also in the range 0 to 59. Thus in Heiberg's edition of the Almagest with the table of chords on pages 48 to 63, the beginning of the table, corresponding to arcs from half a degree through seven and a half degrees, looks like this. Later in the table, one can see the base 10 nature of the numerals expressing the integer parts of the arc and the chord length. Thus in arc of 85 degrees is written as and not broken down into 60 plus 25. The corresponding chord length is 81 plus a fractional part. The integer part begins with likewise not broken into 60 plus 21, but the fractional part, 4 sixtieths plus 15 600 seconds, is written as for 4 in the 1 sixtieth column, followed by for 15 in the 1 600 second column. The table has 45 lines on each of 8 pages, thus 360 lines.